Welcome back to the ticker. Let's take a look at gold. Now, gold has been a hot topic here over the last several weeks, but pulling back again today, extending its two-day move to the downside, but still holding above that key $1,400 level. Now, it's off its six-year high as optimism over a trade deal with China increases demand for riskier assets. But even with today's drop, like I said, gold is still holding on at $1,410 there, so very important number to watch. Joining us now from more is Joe Foster, Portfolio Manager at Van Eck. And Joe, We talked about that key 1,400 level. I know that's a level that you're watching very closely. Mm -hmm. The fact that we're still holding above that, does that mean that maybe gold is starting on a new bull run? Uh, It could. It very well could. I mean, if you look at what's driving gold, uh, the primary driver is concerns about the economy. That's Mm -hmm. why the Fed is is looking at at cutting rates. Um, There's a potential that we could go into a recession over the next 12 months, and that brings all sorts of financial risks. So um, the, the, the first move out of the box was, you know, over the past week, we blew through 1365, which was a major technical level. We blew through 1400. So the move's been very imp- uh, impressive. So those resistant levels, now we'll see if they can become support levels for gold. Uh, how high do you see this, if we do see the rally extend, how high could we see the price of gold go? Because there's been a couple calls out there on the street. City was out last week saying that, hey, it could reach $1,600. Do you see it going that high? It's possible. I mean, I'm seeing two scenarios going forward. One would be a soft landing. It looks like we've got a manufacturing recession in Europe, the U.S., around the world. It hasn't uh, become a a broader economic recession. If this turns into a hard landing, a tough economic recession, that brings out a lot of risks that I think can take gold much higher, definitely through the $1,600 level. And then how long could that bull market last, do you think, for gold? Well, if you look at uh, economic cycles, Mm -hmm. um, if, uh, again, if we are going into another recession, then we're looking at at a a three to five-year cycle. Uh, What do you think is the best investment if there's uh, some of our viewers out there trying to cash in on the recent rise that we have seen in gold? Is it best to invest in the bullion? Is it best best to invest in gold stocks? Where are you seeing opportunity? If this is the beginning of a bull market, and I think at least uh, gold is trading in a new higher range, whether it's a bull market or not, that remains to be seen. But if you believe that uh, gold prices are going to remain at current levels or, or move higher, then you're better off in the stocks because they give you leverage, uh, uh, earnings leverage to the gold price. So they, they will outperform in a strong gold market. Are there certain uh, gold stocks that you are favoring right now or, or that you see opportunity in? Sure. Well, in, in, in our active funds, uh, we tend to be overweight in the juniors and the mid-tier companies, companies that uh, we see uh, generating growth, creating value more so than, than the majors. So, yeah, stocks at mid-tiers like Kirkland Lake or, or, or B2 Gold, mm-hmm. uh, both uh, growing production, both have uh, costs under control, very low cost, uh, generating great margins at current gold prices, and as the price rises, those margins just ex- expand. All right, Joe Foster, thanks for stopping by. Thank you.